What's going on you guys? I'm Matt from SP Fishing TV here with Mystery Tackle Box. Today we're going to be talking about fishing swim baits. I know most of you probably think of swim baits as like a 12 inch bait that weighs 5 ounces and you need like a massive meat stick to throw, but that is not true. Even these small guys, even smaller than this, are still considered a swim bait. So today, we're gonna get into where to fish these swim baits, how to fish these swim baits, and a couple of tips to catch you more fish. All right guys, so before we get into these baits that I'm about to show you, I just wanna let you know that when it comes to fishing these smaller paddle tail style swim baits, I fish them year round. Winter, spring, summer, fall, it does not matter. They catch fish year round. It just depends on how you're rigging them and how you fish them. All right guys, so real quickly, I wanna show you the four baits that I'm gonna be throwing around today and sharing with you. So we're gonna start from smallest to largest. And first up, we have the Lucky John Chunk Tail. So to most of you, this is gonna look just like a grub because it is. However, this works really well as a swim bait on a small jig head. Man, we got fish jumping everywhere. So as you can see, this is a, your standard style grub. Most people would not throw this as a swim bait, but a quick little tip to you guys. You throw this on like a 3 16th ounce jig head, this thing is gonna get bit on your toughest days. These fish are going nuts. But this thing mimics a really small bait fish, this big, curly tail just creates a bunch of commotion in the water but it works really well as a finesse bait. Next up we have the Makora also by Lucky John. So this is still on the finesse side of swim baits. It's probably about the same size as that grub to be honest with you. Just a hair longer but this thing looks phenomenal coming through the water. It mimics the bait fish so well. It has a nice thin body leading down to this thin tail and a really sharp tail too, so it has a really nice tight little wobble. And the body itself actually has a slight wobble to it as well. All right, next up we have the Exoswim by Biospawn. Now this is one of my absolute favorite baits to throw year round. The other swim baits are great. This is my go-to all the time. I love this thing. So it has a really nice durable body. It's a little bit thick up through the upper end of the body and then it tapers down to the tail. And again, this one has a bit of that sharp tail to it. And that's what gives it that signature tail wobble. And this thing works on your toughest days and it works on some of your greatest days as well. This can be fished in so many different ways. This is one of the most versatile lures in my opinion that you can fish. Just depending on how you rig it, where you're fishing it, this thing, you can do everything with this. But last but not least, we're at the biggest bait now. This is the Hypo Tease by Weston. So Weston actually took a 3D scan of a smelt. So that's exactly what this is. And it's anatomically correct with the fins and the gills, lifelike eyes. And this Hypo Tease is phenomenal when you want to slow roll it on the bottom. This tail section is just gonna barely swim. Really nice finesse swim bait. So it comes rigged with the top hook and that belly hook there. If you're fishing in really heavy covered areas, you know, you can pop this thing off and just go with that top hook or you can add a stinger onto the back. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna rig each of these swim baits up in different ways and how to target fish in different conditions with these swim baits. All right guys, now that we're all rigged up, we're gonna start fishing with the hypo tees. We're gonna go largest to smallest baits now. So this bait, has a really nice finesse swimming action back to the boat. Um, it falls about a foot a second. So generally I'm gonna let this sink all the way to the bottom, just make the longest cast that I possibly can. And then just kind of wait around until that thing hits the bottom and then I'm gonna start this really, really slow retreat. Also, as far as what I'm throwing this hypo tease on, I'm throwing it on my flipping stick. It's a 7.6 extra heavy. 20 pound fluorocarbon, but you could probably get away with throwing this on like a 7, you know, 7.4 to 7.6 medium heavy to heavy action rod. Uh, this bait doesn't weigh too much. I think it's like an ounce and three quarters. So it's not too, too heavy. It's not gonna absolutely crush your arm throwing either. It's super aerodynamic, easy to cast, and it's just a really good bait to throw. So. Right now I'm fishing this in an area with this massive dock behind me. We have some rocks and a ton of cover underwater. Uh, but other areas that I would fish this specific swim bait are gonna be points, secondary points, and bluff walls. 
Also, if you find yourself around any grass, take that belly hook off just like I did. And because there's so much cover here, I figured I'm just gonna fish it with that top hook. But um, this thing is really gonna shine in those areas because it's gonna be a little bit weedless uh, once you take that belly hook off. But this thing will definitely catch you some Mondo bass, no doubt. When it comes to fishing these swim baits, whether that's the Hypo Tees or the smallest one being the Lucky John Chunk Tail, one thing that I'm always looking for, with one exception, is clean water. So the reason that I feel that I get bit so much more fishing these baits in cleaner water is because the fish are gonna be able to actually see them from further away. They're not gonna feel any vibration, you know, from like a spinner bait or if you're throwing a crank bait, like digging up the bottom. I think that when you're fishing swim baits, the fish really need it to be more of a visible strike. They need to be able to see the bait, chase it down, and eat it. Whereas when you're fishing other reaction baits, they can just go straight off the vibration. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit now about the Exo Swim on this bladed swim jig head. This is one of my favorite things to fish, spring through fall. It just catches fish. It's awesome, it looks good. It's kind of got a little finesse flash about it. It's awesome but I'm also fishing this completely different than the Hypo Tees. First of all, this Exoswim is, again, probably one of the most versatile baits that you could possibly throw. But when I'm throwing it on a bladed swim jig, my favorite thing to do is to fish it around grass and any sort of wood cover that I can find where I can just buzz this thing right over the top. This bait also works really well on points and secondary points around docks pretty much everywhere. It does get hung up a bit in wood because anytime that coffin shaped bill hits wood, it's just an instant stuck. But the amount of fish that you catch doing it makes all those stucks worth it, that's for sure. But how I'm fishing this, generally making a really long cast. If there's any sort of cover around, I'm obviously gonna throw it towards that cover a bit. And I'm gonna just fish it kind of like a maniac. I want this thing to be super erratic. I want to catch the fish's attention and I want them to react to this. So this bait does work in really clear water and it also works in really, really dirty water. For the most part, I'm fishing this bait extremely erratically, like reeling down, giving it pops and then slowly start reeling it and then, you know, give it some pops again jerks you want to change the direction of this thing you want it to be darting everywhere because once you stop it and you start giving it that steady retrieve generally that's when they're going to eat it and the reason that i think that is is because these fish see this bait in clear water and they see it just going bonkers and then all of a sudden they see it go into this kind of calm state where it's swimming normally like it's not being chased and i think that fish really see that and they see it as a window of opportunity to eat this bait easily we're going to talk about two of the more finesse styled swim baits now. This is the Lucky John Makora. I have this rigged up on an eighth ounce underspin. And this thing absolutely kills it, along with the chunk tail on any sort of post frontal conditions when the fishing is really, really tough. So as I said, this Makora and the chunk tail both are a bit more finesse than the other swim baits that I'm throwing. But that doesn't mean that they don't catch big fish and they definitely have their time in place. So my favorite time to fish them is gonna be when you're experiencing like post frontal conditions, bluebird skies, like just one of those extremely tough days. When you wanna go a little bit smaller and fish a more finesse styled swim bait like this and you wanna throw it on the underspin, it also along with the chatterbait works well with the, some light wind. Granted, you're gonna to wanna to fish this on lighter line. So this is 12 pound test fishing this on a medium heavy action rod and I'm just slow rolling it. I mean, I'll cast it out, I'll let it sink to the bottom and slow roll it back to the boat, giving it, you know, once in a while like a small pop, but really I'm just looking for fish to see a really small, easy meal and come up and smoke this thing. I know I've said it about three times already, but all of these swim baits can be fished anywhere in the water column. So you're just gonna have to figure out the fall rate of each individual bait and how they're rigged up and then you can count them down accordingly. So say you're fishing a point, it's a really tough day, you pick up one of these finesse baits, whether it's the chunk tail or the Makora, and say you see fish suspended in you know, 12 feet of water over 20 feet. It might take this thing 20 seconds to get down there, but if you count it down 20 seconds and you know it's in that 10 to 12 foot range, 
slow roll it back to the boat and you run it through a school of fish or you see active bait fish or whatever, you're marking on the graph with some fish around, they will eat these. The cool thing about fishing these swim baits is that you can actually really experiment when you're out on the water and just try a bunch of different things. There's really no wrong way to fish these. So when you're out there, really just pay attention to when you get bit. That will definitely tell you a bunch. Like if the fish are eating it on the bottom, then keep fishing it on the bottom. If you're not getting bit on the bottom, cast it out and you know start winding. Fish it higher up in the water column. Fish it lower in the water column. You really just need to figure out what those fish want on that specific day. So last up, we're gonna take a look at the Lucky John chunk tail. And I have this rigged up on a 3 16 ounce jig head. And we're just gonna cast it out and reel it back to the boat. This is something I'm throwing on the toughest days. We need to go finesse. And those fish are not eating anything over three inches long. So while this chunk tail is definitely the smallest swim bait that I throw, I really find that when you need to downsize and you need to you know, move away from the bigger baits, whether it's crankbaits or big jigs or even that underspin for how small that was, sometimes they just want something as simple as this to be swimming through the water. And it is a really small swim bait. I mean, it's tiny. It's three inches in length that I'm fishing it on a 3 16 ounce jig head. But sometimes that's what you have to do. I mean, this is rigged up with eight pound fluorocarbon to a 20 pound braided main line fishing on a 7.2 medium light. But there are gonna be days when you're out there and they're not eating anything at all and then you throw this small swim bait on and you'll be catching fish. That's what it's all about, getting out on the water and trying to find those bites and figure out that puzzle for the day. All right guys, so we got some rain coming in so I'm gonna to have to get off the water, but if I can leave you with three quick tips when you're fishing these swim baits. One, remember to look for clean water. Two, accent your baits a little bit with that chartreuse spray. And three, it's gonna be experiment with your water depth and where you're fishing these swim baits. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video. Make sure you hit that like button for me. If you're not already subscribed to Mystery Tackle Box's YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe to them for more awesome tips and tricks vids. We'll see you on the next one.